Good morning, Year Five. This, we are going to be finding fractions of an amount. Okay. So we are going to be using our fractions to find an amount of out of sweets, out of numbers. Okay. So our first one says Tommy gives a third of his sweets to Ava. How many sweets does Ava get? So we can see that the sweets here are all over the place. So I've condensed them into an easier way for us to see. So each counter, so each one of these counters represents a sweet. Okay? So you can see we've got 15 sweets all together. So she gives, so he gives a third of his sweets to Ava. So a third tells us that our number is split into three equal parts, okay? So our denominator tells us how many equal parts our number or our amount is going to be split up into. So I'm going to box up the third. So there's one third. There's another third. And there's another third. Okay. So we can see in each third there are one. There are one, two, three, four, five sweets. So we could say that one third of 15 equals 5. Okay? And how would you do that in a calculation? Well, you would take the number you were finding an amount of, so in this case 15, and you would divide it by the denominator. So we would divide it by 3. And our answer would tell us how many is in one part and in this case the answer to the question okay let's have a look at another one so this time tommy gives a fifth of his sweets to ron how many sweets does ron get so again you can see our sweets here and you can see that to the right of them i have put them in counters instead so each counter represents a sweet so this time i've got fits so my my Sweets are going to be split into five parts, so I'm going to do that now. So I've got one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts. Okay, so now I can see in each part there are three, there are three sweets. So I can say that one fifth of fifteen equals 3. And how would I do that as a calculation? I would do 15 divided by the denominator, which is 5, to give me 3. Okay? Nice and easy. So you can see here now, we have got some questions for you to have a go at. The first one, a bar model, has been used. So we've got the bar model, and it's been split into two because we've got two parts. That's how, remember, that's what the denominator tells us. So in each part there is 10 because I'm splitting 20 into two. So pause the video and have a go. Draw the bar models if you need them. Okay, so for this one, a quarter of 20. So you could have drawn your bar model. Okay. You could have split your bar model into four parts, so you've got five in each. You could use your times tables to help you work that out. So you know that one part of a quarter is five. To work one part of a quarter, one part of 20, or you could have done 20 divided by four to give you five, okay? And then the next one, we have got 20 but we've got a fifth of 20 this time. So my bar has been split into fifths. There are four of that 20 in each part. So we know that 20, the fifth of 20 is four. And we could have done 20 divided by five to give us four. Next one is the last one. So we've got a tenth of 20 this time. So you can see my bar has been split into 10, and in each of those parts there are two. So 1 tenth of 20 equals 2, and you could have done 
10 divided by 20 to give you 2. Okay? Then we're moving on. There are 48 children in a year group. One quarter of them are boys. How many boys are there? So we're going to represent this in a bar model, okay? So here's my bar, and I can see that all of it in total equals 48. So I'm going to split it into quarters now. So I've got one, oh. Sorry guys, one second. I'll just use a pen. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I've got one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. And I've got enough counters here to represent 28. The red counters represent my tens and the green represent my ones. Okay, so you can see I've got four tens because there are four tens and 48. And I've got eight ones because there are eight ones in 48. So I'm going to drag the tens and we're going to um, separate those out first. So I can put one ten in here, one ten in here, one ten in here, and one ten in there. Okay. Then I can separate out my ones. So I'm going to start with one in each one first, one in each part first. Okay. So we can see that in each part we've got 10 and two ones, okay? So in each part there are 12, okay? And the calculation we could have done is 48 divided by 4 to give us 12. So 1 quarter of 48 equals 12. Next one, there are 48 children in a year, a group, a year group, sorry, a third of them are boys. How many boys are there? Pause the video and have a go at this question. Okay, so we know that we need three parts in our bar that equals 48 because we've got the denominator of three. So let's split it into three. Okay, so again, I've got my four red tens and my green ones. Okay, so let's drag them to make to be able to share them out. So I've got one in here, one in here, one in here. But look, I've got a 10 left over and I can't do it here or here or here because then they wouldn't be equal. So what I need to do is I need to exchange that red one, so the 10, for 10 ones. Okay. I need to exchange the 110 for 10 ones. So you can see here there is a new set of 10 ones. Okay, and now we can share them out. Okay, so in each one we can see that there is one ten and there are six ones counters. So we've got ten and six in each one, so each part is equal to sixteen. So we've got sixteen in each part. Okay, so we could say that one third of forty-eight equals 16 and the calculation we could have done is 48 divided by 3 to give us 16. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. This time it says Tommy gives three fifths of his sweets to Ron. How many sweets does Ron get? So again, I've got my sweets and I've represented them in counters. This time you will notice that the numerator isn't one. So Tommy has given Ron more than one of his fifths. Okay. So first up, let's box them up. 
So I've got one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. So we can see he's got fifths, so we've got one fifth here, but he's going to give him another fifth and another fifth. So he's having three of these strips, okay? So in total, we can see that he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three fifths of 15 is nine. And how would I work that out in a calculation? Well, I would do 15 divided by the denominator, which is five, and it gives me three. Then I would take this answer, so I'm taking what one part is, and I'm going to multiply that one part by how many parts I need. So I need however many, whatever the number is for the numerator. So I need to times it by three. So these are my parts needed to give me nine. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. There are 48 children in the year group. Two thirds of them are boys. How many boys are there? So, we're just going to do the calculation this time. So we're going to do 48 divided by three, which gave me 16. And then I'm going to do 16 times by the numerator, so times two, to give me the answer. So I would have 32, okay? So I've taken my number, so the total I had, divided it by the denominator, And then I took the one part and multiplied it by the numerator. Okay? And then again, let's have another go. So this time I want three quarters of 20. So I'm going to do 20 divided by the denominator, which would give me five, which is my one part. Then I'm going to take my one part I'm going to multiply it by my numerator to give me 15. So one, sorry, so three quarters of 20 is 15. Okay. And then there are a couple of you to have a go, so pause the video and have a go at those for me. Okay, so let's do step one. We're going to take our total, divide it by the denominator. to give us one part. I'm going to take my one part, multiply it by the numerator to give me my answer. So we've got 20 divided by five equals four. Then I'm using that four and multiply it by three to give me 12. So the answer is 12. Then I'm going to do it again for the next one. So I've got 20 divided by 10 to give me my part of two. So I'm taking the one part, which is two, multiplying it by the numerator, which is three, to give me six. So three tenths of 20 is six. Okay, so if you are doing silver today, you're doing questions one and two, gold three and five, platinum five to seven. Have a go and give yourself a challenge, maybe move on to the next one, or you could challenge yourself to do all of the questions. If you need any help, please contact Mrs. Willis or I, and we can help you the best we can.